The Sabres draft class of 2022 featured Matt Savoy at ninth overall. We're going to dive in on some of uh, your body of work as far as video examples of your skill set. But first of all, New Year's Day, baby, 2004. How often do your parents bring that up as a talking point for you? Yeah, uh, pretty cool. I'm a New Year's baby, I guess. Uh, I was pretty close to actually being in 03, about an hour and a half off. So, uh, yeah, I got pretty lucky there being in 04. Were you the first in the hospital in your town in that year? Do you uh, remember? Or do you remember? I, do your parents tell you this? I was, yeah, in, uh, in my hometown of St. Albert. Very good. Now, it's a great hockey town. Obviously, you had extensive uh, opportunity to keep playing uh, as a youngster. Were you indoors, outdoors uh, in the early stages? Uh, indoors and outdoors, uh, you know, always, always trying to find ice, uh, always trying to, you know, be outside, be active, and uh, it's just kind of my lifestyle. Let's dive into some of the plays here, including this one, as you take us through how this showcases your skill set. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, the type of game I play, I play a, a high skill game, um, my, the ability to, you know, beat goalies one-on-one, -on -one, uh, find little lanes to, you know, put the puck past them. I think those are some of my biggest strengths, for sure. The patience there was also uh, pretty obvious, too. Um, do you recognize when you have that extra split second? Because there's maybe an inclination to shoot the puck right away, but then you simply finish it off with ease. Yeah, I think, you know, with my awareness, I can sense pressure and, um, you know, know when I have a little more time and space. So I think, you know, in that clip there, I do a good job of, you know, freezing the goalie. Uh, sensing the defensive pressure behind me and um, you know using my time and space. Your vision is lauded by many, but also I'm guessing you're an all situations guy. So when you take us through a situation like this at the end of a penalty kill, uh, what are you looking for? Uh, just trying to find a hole, finding you know space, open ice to jump to. Um, you know, see my teammate win a battle in the corner there, and uh, there's some open ice in the middle of the ice. So uh, just race there, uh, call for the puck, and um, you know once you're alone in, in front, you kind of just do your thing, try and beat the goalie one-on-one. -on -one. Nothing better than seeing the goaltender realize, mm, just didn't make the play on that particular one. How often did you get the opportunities, uh, either in USHL or Western League, to play shorthanded? Yeah, uh, you know, last year in Winnipeg, starting uh, I think in November, December, I was used on the PK quite frequently. Uh, you know, at the start of the season, being a younger guy, we usually went to, to the older guys, the more responsible guys. But uh, I think my coach trusted me more as the season went on, and uh, I love play, playing the PK and killing penalties. All right, how about this one? It takes us back to your USHL time. What stands out the most as far as something you take from this play that we could see in the future years? I think I'm, you know, a relentless forechecker, always looking to put pressure on their defense, um, you know, have awareness, you know, to see when there's, they have a last man back and um, just trying to steal the puck from him and, and get an opportunity. And then I think, you know, when, when you're alone with the goalie, uh, again, just freezing him, uh, making him think you're shooting and then, and then have a little patience to outweigh him, I think, in, in that play. Obviously, you're well into the period at this point in time. You've already done your pre-scouting for the game. But what's interesting to me compared to the other two clips is obviously the goaltender is a right catcher as opposed to a left catcher in that sequence. How aware are you of that in the moment as far as knowing what you want to do in a situation like that against a goalie? Yeah, definitely. I think you know that a lot of that comes with the pre-scout, um, knowing the little tendencies of the goalies. Um, just with the way they react, especially if they're, they're the opposite hand, they catch the opposite way. Uh, sometimes, you know, they, they favor their glove a little bit more. So, um, you know, just knowing those little tendencies and watching video is, is big on those. Words you take the most pride in when you hear them being used to describe your game. What do you like hearing? Uh, fast paced, uh, smart player, high hockey IQ. I think those really describe, describe the way I play. How did draft night go for you as far as just everything about it? Yeah, it was a blast. Uh, you know, everything I could have imagined, everything I could have dreamed of. Um, you know, hearing my name called by, by Buffalo was definitely a surreal moment and um, definitely one I'll never forget. Players you've watched the most and uh, don't mind being compared to that are in the NHL right now? Uh, I get a lot of comparisons with Braden Point and uh, Matt Barzell, two smaller guys. Uh, like to play with a lot of skill, like to play with a lot of pace. Uh, they possess the puck real well, attack defenders. I think those are, are some of the qualities I possess and um, you know, just wanting to, to have the puck on my stick and play with confidence. Biggest hope for you this off season heading into the fall? Uh, just continue to get bigger, uh, continue to get faster. I think you, know, you can never be in, in the gym too much, so um, you know, I'll definitely be in the gym working hard this summer. Thanks for the insight. Look forward to seeing you in the fall. Thank you very much.